Lillian was not supposed to be this bizarre. At least as a baby she looked sweet. She still was now, but considerably weird too. In fact, she had her 14th birthday in April, and instead of inviting anyone to the party, she opened her presents with a rock by her side. No one knew where she had got this rock from, or why she had decided to draw a big happy smile on its face. But she did everything with it. Painting, reading, listening to music. She'd take it to school, to family gatherings, everywhere. Her family were entirely confused by the whole thing. They always found her behaviour not exactly right, but she saw nothing wrong and made sure her rock got in all the photographs. It was her companion, but not like a pet. It was a friend. Lillian didn't tell anyone that, however. She had no friends because of her oddness. On her first day of school, a group of kids picked on her for having too many teeth in her mouth. She had 31 teeth, three more than the average amount. Even once her teeth were fixed, everyone already had an impression of her. Strange, annoying, and not worth their time getting to know her. But her rock wasn't like that. It could be whatever she wanted. Maybe a princess with beautiful long hair, or a knight ready for battle. But most of all, it couldn't judge her. Come on, heal. Come on, move. What are you doing? I'm walking it. What does it look like? Maybe you should be more caring with it, then it will move. I would, but it doesn't like me at the moment. Why not? Because I didn't have enough time to play its favourite song this morning. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. What's your name? Lillian. Yours? Jen. You're that new kid, aren't you? Yeah. Have you heard some rumour or something? No. Just observant. Well, I hope you're able to walk your rock. See you around, Lillian. Hey, wait! Um, I... I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this. Doing what exactly? Well, I was just wondering if you'd like to come walk my rock home with me. You really are odd. Oh. Um, no, it's not a bad thing for me. What's your favourite thing to take pictures of? Pictures of houses. People. You should get one of me, standing on the bench. You look heroic. Hey, we should get back to mine now. My dad's making a special soup. It's the best creation in the world. Really? Yeah. It's a recipe that's been passed down for generations. One day I'll make it for my children, and they'll make it for their children. Till the end of the world, I suppose. Are you coming? Yes, of course. Thank you.